This video is going to be on synthetic division. of polynomials. Synthetic division is a way to divide um, polynomials when you're dividing by a specific type of polynomial. So take for example, say you have one polynomial here, it's like x to the fifth plus blah 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 plus one, right? Some kind of crazy polynomial, but it's being divided by a polynomial where there's just an x and then plus or minus some number. Doesn't matter, don't care what it is, as long as it's some number. So x plus or minus a number. As long as I have uh, something being divided by, for example, x plus two, or it's being divided by x minus three, or it's being divided by x minus one. I mean, the list goes on. It could even be x plus one half. I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as it's x and then a number, we can do synthetic division of polynomials. If it's not that, if it's something like, you know, x squared, oops, if it's something like x squared plus two, uh, that's a no-go. You cannot do synthetic division uh, with that. So uh, with that said, let's uh, talk about what synthetic division is, okay? And so uh, we would have, uh, let's take for example, we're dividing 2x cubed uh, plus 3x squared minus 14x minus 20, and it's all being divided by, uh, let's go with x minus 2, okay? First thing that we want to do is we want to set it up. For synthetic division, you make a box that looks about like that. Then what you want to do is you want to take all the coefficients. So remember, coefficients are the numbers in front of variables. So we want to take all these coefficients and you want to put them on the inside of this long division box. So it would go 2, 3, negative 14, and negative 20. Then on the outside, you want to take uh, the value that comes from here and the way you figure that out is ask yourself when would x minus 2 equal 0? Well, the answer would be x equals 2. That number goes out front. After that, the process is pretty straightforward. You bring the first number down always, so that would be 2. Then uh, you multiply the outside numbers together. So 2 times 2 is 4. And then on the inside you add down. So 3 plus 4 adds to 7 and so 7 and then you multiply once again the outside numbers so 2 times 7 is 14 oh we're feeling good then we add down negative 14 plus 14 is 0 and what we're going to do is we are going to take now the outside numbers one last time 2 times 0 and that is 0 and so then we would add down and get negative 20 and what we have here, you kind of got to look at it and break it down. The last number is always the remainder. And then if you look at it, uh, what you were dividing was an x cubed by an x. And if you did 2x cubed divided by x, you would get 2x squared. That is actually the first term that you have here, 2x squared. And then it goes down in order. Then x, and then no x, but your constant term. And your remainder, you always put it over what you were dividing by. We were dividing by x minus 2. So final answer would look like this. 2x squared plus 7x, then minus 20 over x minus 2. And it's way faster than long division. Uh, but the problem is, is it only works when you have x and then a number. So let's try one more um, example. This example is going to require you uh, to look for some missing terms. So let's say that you've got x to the fourth, okay, plus 3x squared minus 18, and you want to divide that thing by x plus 1. All right. First, uh, let's set up our box here. When we set up the coefficients, the very first one is a 1 in front of this x to the 4th. But notice how there's no x to the 3rd. So you have to ask yourself this question, what's missing? 
and it's just from the one that's in front, right? What's missing uh, from there? Well, in order to go down in order, it would have to go x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x to the first, and then the minus 18. So we're missing an x to the third. What we do is we put a zero. So it's one and then zero, and then uh, that'd be zero x cubed. And so then three x squared, and then we're missing an x to the first power, so it's another zero, and then a negative 18. And now that is set up. On the inside, it's set up, but on the outside, we would need to take this and let's set it equal to zero. When would x plus one equal zero? That would be x equals negative one, and that's what goes on the outside of the box. All right, so we bring down the one, get a one. Negative one times one is negative one. Add again, get negative one. Multiply them together, you get one. Then you add down, you get four. Then you multiply negative 1 times 4 again, uh, and you get negative 4. Add down, get negative 4. Uh, and then I multiply again, and I get positive 4, and then I have negative 14. Remember, this is your remainder, so that is over x plus 1. That's what I was dividing by. This is your constant term. Uh, negative 4 is your constant term. And to figure out what would go first, take x to the fourth and divide it by x, which would be x to the third. And so I'd have 1x to the third minus 1x squared plus 4x minus 4. So we'd write our answer as x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 4 minus 14 over x plus 1. And that's how you do synthetic division. All right, so have a good one.